I used to feel so lonely So quietly I cried But now the tears are tears of joy That flow down from my eyes Cause now I'm blessed by angels From heaven up above With the round held in the arms Of the one I love I found her when I needed her And courage in her smile I loved her grace and gentleness And I know all the while That I am blessed by angels From heaven up above Whenever I'm held in the arms Of the one I love I used to feel so lonely So quietly I cried But now the tears are tears of joy That flow down from my eyes Cause now I'm blessed by angels From heaven up above Whenever I'm held in the arms Of the one I love Westbound love rode along the tracks. A westbound love rode along the tracks. A westbound love rode along the tracks. While eastbound love gathered speed, the crashed head on. Says. Jump to the music, shake your body around. Voodoo Master says. Shake to the music, shake your body around. Voodoo Master says, stop. Voodoo Master says, go. Toss up your dress and let your underwear show. Voodoo Master says spin Spin around and around Voodoo Master says shout hey! Make a joyful sound Voodoo Master says stop Voodoo Master says go Now toss up your dress and let your underwear show. Her life 
life has left her body old. Her life has left her body old. Her life has gone to heaven old. Nancy is an angel old.
But it looks pretty good. It looks like a face. But there's nobody here. But a face on the ceiling of the room where I sit, looking up at the ceiling. So I can see a face. It's a dark brown face with a frown in the place where a smile would be on the picture of me. There's a face on the ceiling of the room where I sit, looking up at the ceiling so I can see a face. same dream. <laughs> Call it a nightmare. I'm a tiny, helpless bat, and Ozzy Osbourne bites my head off. But my 
head still works. My eyes still see as my head slides and tumbles down his eager throat. My ears still hear the thunderous roar of churning fluids and cheering crowd. My mind's muddled as my helpless head jerks and rolls along in its journey of terror. I try to scream, but the words won't come out. Still, the same familiar thought turns over and over in my poor tumbling head. <laughs> Here I go again. I jerk awake, sweating and panting, relieved to find I'm whole again, and scared to close my eyes. I lay awake, troubled on the hard, cold floor. An ant crawls into my ear and builds its nest. My cheek itches horribly, and when I scratch it, my skin tears open and thousands of huge, frantic ants pour out. I'm examining my face in the bathroom mirror when the house begins shaking. Arnold Schwarzenegger is angry, drunk, and pounding on the front door. He's stomping his feet and howling about what's my underwear doing under the front seat of Maria Shriver's car. <laughs> I swear I don't know how it got there. Arnold details the painful procedure he's eager to perform. His intention is to thrust his mighty arm into my open mouth and down my trembling throat, and grab whatever he can and remove his hand with such speed and force that he'll turn me completely inside out. I shudder and stammer, whoop, wait. I blink and it's all over. I am inside out, but I feel the same. My trembling skin is inside. My muscles and organs flop and wobble outside, but it doesn't hurt. I try to scream. I see my lungs fill with air. My heart pounds like a giant dripping kettle drum. I run down the street with my bones all showing, my muscles flapping in the wind. I run to a house for help and Michael Jackson opens the door. He wants to buy me for his elephant man display. No dice. The place is crawling with plastic surgeons. In a lengthy operation, a team of them reverse my condition and restore my normal appearance. Brooke Shields shows me the side door and I slip out, reeking of chloroform and stitched from toe to skull. I wander aimlessly, past picturesque tree-lined streets to the edge of town. I stumble forward to a lonely lover's lane and find an empty car parked in the shadows. I crawl in out of the cold night air and huddle under a thick wool blanket in the back seat. Exhausted, I lay shivering in the dark. My mind drifts. I almost fall asleep when I jerk myself back to consciousness. I remember the words to an old song. There's a thing with a hook pulling doors off cars parked at Lover's Lane. There's a thing with a hook pulling heads off boyfriends parked at Lover's Lane. Suddenly, I'm intensely alert. I hear every cricket chirp and every leaf rustle. I slowly peel off the wool blanket and bravely peer out the window. My heart pounds as I gasp for breath. Dangling from the door handle, shining in the moonlight, is a bloody silver hook. I'm afraid to look, but something makes me. I scream. On the hood of the car is my head, looking back in the car at my body without a head. The head on the hood gets a look at its face. My head shudders, my eyes roll around. My brain thinks, oh great, here we go again. My shoulders and the car shrug. My mouth whispers, well, come on. My body makes its way out of the car, feeling its way along the hood. My strength is drained and my hands can hardly lift my heavy head. I slowly turn it over and over and heave a sigh of relief. I line it up and set it back on and smile a kind of uneasy smile. And then I wake up. Geraldo's on TV. The theme of the show is guys who got decapitated three times in the same dream. I think this is so weird. I just got decapitated twice in the same dream. And then the camera pans slowly across Geraldo's set, and I can't believe my eyes. The guy in the end is dressed just like me, but he has no head. He has on my shirt and my pants and my shoes, but no head. And then he opens his little bag and pulls my head out. And then I finally get it. It is me. 
I'm on Geraldo with a panel of headless guys. And I carry my head around in a bag. Oh, great. Here I go again. trying to get someone shrunk really tiny and injected inside my body. I don't think scientists can do that yet. When they work it out, I want to get Tom Arlino shrunk really tiny and play drums inside me. When I'm not thinking about anything special, he can just keep a steady beat. And whenever I get excited, he could go crazy. got a tape on my table by a band that I love with a title that's the name of a woman I can't stand I've got a book on my shelf with a cover that's the color of the hair of the girl that I long to be with I've got an amp in the attic with a tear in the speaker but it doesn't really matter because the amp doesn't work. This teacher said his talent should surely be pursued. She had in mind a still life, he had in mind a nude. He loves to paint his girlfriend and all his girlfriend's friends. Or anybody nude that anybody recommends. They were shocked when they knocked that his bedroom door was locked. He loves to paint his girlfriend and all his girlfriend's friends. Or anybody nude that anybody recommends. His parents are delighted by his new fond love for paints. It's the parents of his models that registered complaints. They were shocked when they knocked that his bedroom door was locked. His teacher said his talent should surely be pursued. She had 
mine is still like he that mind a new. He loves to paint his girlfriend and all his girlfriend's friends. Or anybody new that anybody recommends. They were shocked when they knocked that his bedroom door was locked. Best friend is you. Hey, 
job won't fix you your supper. He won't even fix you a snack. Or squeeze your hand in the movie line. Or give you a pat on the back. Diamonds won't ever stick up for you. Or follow wherever you lead. Or stop at the store on the way home from work to pick up whatever you need. A dog won't tell you a secret. A dog won't find your last piece. A dog won't ever say thank you or please or God bless you when you sneeze. Diamonds won't write you a letter. Diamonds won't read you a book. Diamonds won't send you a birthday card or compliment the way that you look. They say diamonds are a girl's best friend, but I don't believe that it's true. They say a dog is a man's best friend, but my best friend is you. You're my best friend too. We've got a secret handshake we use for greetings and some secret song lyrics we sing at the meetings. We've got a secret password we say at the door. We took a top secret oath, but I'll whisper what for. It's a club about loving you. That's all all of us want to do. It's a club about loving you. It's a club about and you. We've got plenty of paper we bought with our dues to print a secret newsletter filled with top secret news. You're all we're all thinking of, so we formed a club. To declare our love It's a club about loving you That's all all of us want to do It's a club about loving you It's a club about love And you that she couldn't feel complete if she couldn't spend her life with the one in place like this my song was just like Cupid's arrow and pierced her heart and soul her life was changed she smiled a smile the kind that let me know that she longed to spend her life with the one who plays like this. defeat when Perry got a note from Della Street the note said it's 
star for goodness sake It was signed sincerely yours Paul Drake Then Perry put a woman on the witness stand And she squirmed in the chair like he had planned Till a man in the back of the court confessed He said, Perry Mason, you're the best He said, now I know that crime can't pay With Perry Mason in the way Now I see crime can't pay With Perry Mason in the way Why don't you be in a band like me? You can drive all day to the club and then wait all night for the show. And then you can search for the missing club owner who owes you a percentage of the door. And you counted 200 people, but his records only show 125. But you still have to hunt him up. You get that little bit of money that you can split five ways with the rest of the band. So it won't even pay for the gas you need to drive all day to the next show. And after you load up the equipment and drive to somebody's house where you can sleep on the floor, you have to take a shower before you can sleep so you won't stink like smoke. And you can lay down and listen to your ears ring while you try to fall asleep. mistake to film the Andy Griffith Show 2000 with Kevin Costner playing Andy Griffith and Jeff Goldblum with Barney. Or do you think they should make a new Three Stooges movie with Dustin Hoffman playing Moe? Or am I crazy? Got a lot of problems, I got some of my own I guess 
guess I should have left hell enough alone. I left her mad, and she just got madder. She just turned bitter, and I just turned sadder. She's got an iron will, and a heart of stone. I guess I should have left hell enough alone. Alice 
Scotty, Susan, Bear, necklace, bracelet, earring, Sue. If I named some jewelry, I would name it after you. That would be a way to show that I care. Necklace, bracelet, Susan, Bear, ginger ale, root beer, Pepsi, Sue. If I named a new soft drink, I would name it after you. That would be a way to show that I care. Ginger ale, root beer, Susan Fair.
Now you gotta pay. I ain't gonna stand no fooling around. If I do, if I do, I'll be John Brown. No fooling around If I do, if I do, I'll be John Brown You had me, John And I'm still alive You had me, John And I'm still alive And I ain't gonna stand No fooling around If I do, if I do, I'll be John Brown <laughs>